ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to these rules for the multiplication card game. Now, here's how you play this game. The purpose of this game is to help your student, or if you're a student, to help you develop instantaneous recall of your multiplication facts. We just need to go over a couple of rules before we get started. Aces are one, okay? Aces are one. Jacks are 11. Queens are 12. And kings are 13. Kings are kind of optional. Um, if you don't want to practice your 13s, then you can remove all the kings before you start playing. So the first step is to just shuffle the deck. And then, parents, what you're going to do with your student is have your student sit in front of you at the table or in front of the coffee table, and you're just going to throw down two cards, okay? For example, 10 and 6. Now, what we don't want is we don't want the students to count up like 10, 20, 30, 40, where they're counting on their fingers. We don't want them to do that. If you start to see your student count on their fingers, you want to take those cards away and you want to tell them the answer. 10 times 6 is 60. And you tell them, remember that. Okay? And then we go to something maybe a little bit easier. Something they might get. 4 times 2. They should instantaneously say 8. 4 times 2 is 8. And then what I do is I bring back the cards that they missed. I say, what's 10 times 6? 60. They still remember it in their short-term memory. And this is how they will learn multiplication by heart. Okay, we all did it, but these kids are not learning it this way, so we're going to have to teach it to them. Four times six, 24. If they hesitate more than about a second, the goal is instantaneous recall. Not that they get the answer right, so we pull those cards away, say, oop, you took too long. Four times six is 24. And then go ahead and play another one, something real easy. What's three times one? Three. Now, bring this back. What's four times six? And they should say, oh, 24, right? They, they remember it. And then we bring in some more cards. How about three times four? 12, okay? Now, there is a way to play this game at a higher level. Let's say you're really good at this and you're getting all of these right. So what you can do is you can put down, let me see if I can fit them all in here. You can put down more than two cards. So you can do three times four times two. So you throw those cards down, your student goes three times four is 12, 12 times two is 20. 24, okay, so they say 24, they get the answer right, and maybe you take three more cards and throw them down. Four times seven times 10, okay, four times seven, 28, 28 times 10, 280, okay? So you can play the game with three cards. Now, there is a way to play this game with a joker, and what the joker will represent is like a wild card. So you'll throw down a card like a jack. That's an 11. And then the joker's sitting there. Now you go with, you can sit and call it out to your student. You say like four, and they're supposed to do 11 times four is 44 instantly, okay? And that way you can practice. 11 times one, 11. 11 times two, 22. 33, 44, 55, like you teach the kids that stuff, all right? So parents, what you're gonna do every day is you're gonna play this game with your kids for 10 minutes, a minimum of 10 minutes, okay? And over the course of this week, we're gonna play a minimum of 60 minutes a week. And you just log your minutes and then put your parents' signature there. If you need a review of how to play this card game, here's the web address. And if you wanna write me any note, you can write it right there. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have fun. This is a fun game. It's supposed to be very fast-paced. I can't stress that enough. The game is to build instantaneous recall of multiplication facts. So if your student's hesitating for more than one or two seconds, they are not recalling their memories from memory. They're trying to compute the answer somehow, and we don't want that. We just want them to memorize their tables from 1 to 12 or 1 to 13. We want it memorized. We did this when we were really young, 
And now we need to make sure that, that our kids, that these kids are getting that, that same level of memorization too. I can't stress this enough, ladies and gentlemen. If you memorize your 1 through 12 multiplication facts, that is the single most important thing that you can do to get yourself prepared for higher level mathematics. If you do not have this information stored in your instantaneous, short-term instantaneous recall memory, you are going to have a really tough time in mathematics. But just by playing this game for 10 little itty-bitty minutes a day, you can build this confidence and memorization in as little as one or two weeks. Okay? Well, thank you so much for watching this tutorial video, and I hope you all have fun playing this game. Thank you.